Okay, we're going to look more at band 5 and 6 HSC standard examples, compound machines, where there's more than one machine happening in a system. So the total velocity ratio is velocity ratio 1 times velocity ratio 2 times velocity ratio 3 times 4 times 5 times 6, however many machines there are. I'm just going to delete this to give me some working space. I'll put it up the top. VR total is VR1 times velocity ratio 2 times... OK. Let's have a look at this screw jack. I've got a lever connected to a screw. Uh, for every one full turn of that diameter 40 screw, an Acme thread is a square thread. I've just changed it to say square. For every one full turn, this lifts up three millimetres. So we're just looking at compound machines. This first one, Looks like a compound machine, but it's actually just a simple machine. For every one full turn, this thing here is basically a base with a nut on top. Every one turn of that pushes that up 3 mil. So distance moved by the effort. It's a 450 diameter handle, or the handle moves around in. 450 diameter, distance moved by the effort in one full revolution is pi d equals 3.142 times 450 and I'll calculate that out in a sec. Distance moved by the load is one full turn that rises by 3 mil, the pitch of the red, no, pitch of the thread, thread, not red. Pitch of the thread 3 mil goes up in one turn. Okay, so just quickly doing the mental arithmetic. 3.142 times 450. Uh, 3 times 450, so that's 1350. 1 1.1 times 450 is 45. 0.04 times 450 is 18. 9 and 9 is 18. 0.002 times 450 is 0.9. Add it all up, 0.9, 5 and 3, carry the 1, 10, 11, carry the 1, 4, 1. So it's 1414 millimetres for every 3. The velocity ratio, distance moved by the effort divided by the distance moved by the load equals 1413.9 divided by 3. Is that top line divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Equals 471.3 as to 1. 471.3 as to 1 is what that works out to be. That's fairly massive velocity ratio. As assuming 100% efficiency, very unlikely. Mechanical advantage, I'll use a different colour. Mechanical advantage equals velocity ratio times efficiency. Let's assume that's one. Really poor assumption for a threaded jack where there's a lot of friction. Assume it's 1. If it's 471.3 as to 1, load on effort equals that. If the effort equals 1000 newtons, therefore the load is 471.300 newtons equals 47.13 tonnes. Fairly massive load you can lift with the thread. Typically, however, efficiency is probably more like 50%. You're going to lose at least half that effort to friction. So, half that, and you get 23 point whatever half of that is. 0 0.5, 6, 
five tonnes. If you've got 50% efficient, if efficiency was 50%, you get 23 and a half tonnes.